Good day, dear ladies and gentlemen. You are on the Andrea Script News channel. As always, I am happy to make videos for you that will certainly be useful to you. XRP is an extremely promising Bretton Woods was just a freaking business deal. Crypto is really about the world reserve currency and preventing WW3. Not green candles. Bretton Woods was just a freaking business deal. A bunch of people got in the room and said we're gonna we're gonna do this going forward. Yeah. This has happened multiple times in history. And and the by the way, the other way that this gets resolved are through revolutions, riots, war. I, I, I like to think, notwithstanding what's going on in Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia and the whole Eastern Europe thing, I think humanity has gotten to a level we don't need war anymore. Yep. We, we can actually sit down at a table and negotiate and, and have the, you know, the, the power of the pen be how these issues get resolved. Yep. And this is, this is one way probably not the way but it is one way that you could see that, that, that this you know gets worked out so it, yeah 23 percent problem yes finance businesses today in a few different ways and i think one of the challenges for the industry has been to focus on solving real problems for real customers and ripple obviously from its earliest days focused on the problem around cross-border payments that's a point of a lot of friction as measured by speed and cost and by focusing there, we've been able to have a big impact on that you know, relatively small piece. But I think over the next years, you're gonna see many financial transactions where a middleman sits, a middle transaction, an intermediary, those will get removed and we'll use blockchain and other digital asset type technologies to, to remove that friction. And I think all of society will benefit from you know, improving the efficiency of those, those systems. I think you'll see that certainly you've seen CBDCs and other new forms of digital money, goodbye privacy and anonymity. Use of physical cash is declining. We are witnessing a growing appetite for digital alternatives, driven not only by private sector innovation, but also by an increasing recognition from central banks and governments of the role to be played by public digital money, namely central bank digital currencies, or CBDCs, in the economy of the future. As both public and private sector research and explorations continue to delve into the design principles and attributes of these new forms of digital money, there is one topic that repeatedly raises its head as a core discussion point and, for many, an essential feature, privacy. Unlike cash, digital payments are inherently capable of generating an audit trail of transactions and spending behavior. The potential for personal information connected to this activity to be made available beyond its intended use leads to significant privacy concerns. Individual users may often prefer to keep their data, not only their personal data, but also potentially sensitive or revealing spending information, anonymous. They may also have concerns around commercial data sharing and monetization of data and the potential discrimination and unfair business practices that can occur as a result. A central bank issuing to CBDC does not have the same profit maximization and commercial imperatives of a private stablecoin or tokenized e money issuer. Nevertheless, there are concerns that government access to this personal and transactional data, which would otherwise remain anonymous in the case of physical cash transactions, could result in privacy infringements for individual CBDC users. These concerns could potentially dissuade individuals from using CBDC as a digital alternative to cash, potentially pushing them towards alternative, potentially less transparent, payment mechanisms. It must be acknowledged that, from a government's perspective, part of the value in implementing a CBDC lies in the ability to better manage and use data about transactions and users for more effective policy delivery. This could include, for example, protecting the integrity of the financial system by reducing financial crime through enhanced anti-money laundering measures or improved ability to monitor the effectiveness of benefits and other interventions. Whilst the efficiency benefits are likely to be attractive, the competing concerns and interests raise the question of whether it is possible to find an equilibrium point, whether the same level of anonymity that is afforded by cash can also be achieved in the design of a CBDC, and indeed whether or not this is ultimately desirable, and whether user concerns around privacy can be balanced with government imperatives and objectives. 
we should also recognize that increased access to data and the associated perceived decrease in privacy is by no means the sole driver of explorations into a CBDC or other new forms of digital money. The introduction of a digital currency, if well designed, has the potential to promote innovation, enhanced efficiencies, and greater financial inclusion. It can also underpin a more resilient and competitive payment landscape. All of these can support the central bank in fulfilling its objectives to maintain monetary and financial stability as well as supporting the UK in its transition to a digital economy. This again reinforces the point that there needs to be a balance between responding to privacy concerns without detriment to the innovative features that digital money can deliver. Ripple CEO is optimistic the crypto firm will get ruling on XRP lawsuit soon, slams embarrassing sec. The head of cryptocurrency and blockchain company Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse says he is hopeful a resolution will be reached in its spat with the US Securities and Exchange Commission within the first half of 2023. Judges take however long the judges will take, Garlinghouse, who is a defendant in the legal drama, said in an interview with CNBC's Squawk Box Europe Wednesday at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. We are optimistic that this will certainly be resolved in 2023 and maybe in the first half. So we'll see how it plays out from here. But I feel very good about where we are relative to the law and the facts. The US. Securities and Exchange Commission initiated a lawsuit against Ripple in 2020, alleging that the company and its executives illegally sold XRP, a cryptocurrency created in 2012, to investors without first registering it as a security. Ripple disputes the claim, saying that the token should not be considered an investment contract and is used in its business to facilitate cross-border transactions between banks and other financial institutions. In December, Ripple and the SEC submitted their final round of briefs seeking a summary judgment to the case, respectively accusing each other of stretching the law. The judge could make a ruling in favor of either side, avoiding a trial, or put the matter before a jury. Garlinghouse said that he expects a ruling to arrive sometime in the coming single-digit months, potentially as soon as June. He added that he doesn't expect the company will settle the case, although he remains open to the prospect. We have always said that we would love to settle, but it requires one very important thing, and that is that, on a go-forward basis, it's clear that XRP is not a security, Garlinghouse said. The sect and Gary Gensler has very outwardly said he views almost all crypto as a security. And so that leaves very little space in the Venn diagram for settlement. At a September event organized by the Practicing Law Institute, Gensler said that the vast majority of cryptocurrency tokens are securities. He subsequently hinted that Ether may also qualify as a security. Without referring to its by name, Gensler told reporters in September that crypto staking mechanisms, which reward users who deposit their tokens to secure blockchain networks with interest-like payments, should count as securities offerings, since the investing public is anticipating profits based on the efforts of others. Ethereum, the network behind the world's second-largest cryptocurrency, switched to such a model last year. The only cryptocurrency that the agency has made clear it doesn't view as a security as Bitcoin. Gensler previously stated that the world's biggest cryptocurrency has no group of individuals in the middle, meaning investors aren't betting on an intermediary. XRP's weekly close may be a bullish sign for the crypto. XRP's price has increased 0.34% in the last 24 hours, erasing its negative weekly performance. A Gaussian channel has been identified on XRP's weekly chart. A close within this channel is considered to be bullish for the remittance token. The price of Ripple, XRP, has risen 0.34% over the last 24 hours according to CanMarketCap. This 24-hour positive price performance has erased XRP's negative weekly performance. At press time, XRP is changing hands at $0.4109. The Twitter trader, Egrag Crypto, shared a snapshot of XRP's weekly chart and a Gaussian channel currently present on XRP's chart. In a tweet this morning, the Twitter user stated that XRP's weekly candle close will be important to watch as it may be the first weekly candle with a full body close inside the Gaussian channel since May 2022. According to the Twitter user, a close within this channel will be bullish for the remittance token. Technical indicators on XRP's daily chart are slightly bearish. Currently, the daily RSI line is positioned below the RSI small line.
The slope of the RSI line is also slightly negative and pointed towards oversold territory. There is some bullish momentum present on XRP's daily chart as indicated by the 9 EMA being positioned above the 20-day EMA line. This momentum may be dwindling, however, as the margin between the two EMA lines